Good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Man. It's talking about Bible study. We've been dealing with how to study the Bible, the correct way to study the Bible, so that you can get the most out of the Word of God, that you will drill down deeper so that your anointing will increase and your discernment and revelation will grow even larger when we learn how to truly study the Word of God. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Anitra. Good morning. Glad that you are part of my morning, and I'm so thankful and grateful that you permit me to be a part of your morning. Time for some impartation. And you know, this week we've been talking about how we can increase our intentionality quotient by studying the Word of God, that this year is all about intentional living 2022. Got a got a whole journal on that, got a whole uh, Daniel fast on that, and each category of the eight, uh, one of them is how to study the Word of God. So this morning, Thelma, we're going to drill down deeper, even further into this, Lena. How about that? Let's get into this this morning. In five minutes or less, the text to talk, the takeaway. Here you go. The text is what we've been using all along, 2 Timothy 2.15. Won't use that tomorrow, but this morning we're going to continue that. 2 Timothy 2.15, you can almost quote it. The King James Version is the tape in your mind. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, before God and men, because he or her, she or he, then rightly divides the word of truth. Let's delve into that. This morning, we're talking about how do I study character and word study. Now, if you remember, remember now, let's go back. I started out and I first said to you that you study the Bible correctly by first of all, looking at word study, looking at book study, looking at character study, looking at section study. We grab the Bible and we look at it principally through that lens. I'm either going to read a book, I'm either going to read about a character, I'm either going to grab a word and follow it all the way through, or I'm going to realize what section I'm in in scripture. Out of the 66 books, they're not all the same. Some are narrative, some are prophetic. Some of gospel, some are pastoral epistles, some are Pauline epistles, then some are wisdom writers, the other is Torah, and then it just kind of rolls itself out, historical book. Then we then understand better what the writer is trying to say, depending upon the section or the book that we're reading. Then I laid out for you on yesterday the who, what, when, where, why, and how of when I read the scripture. I always look at it through that journalistic lens. The who, what, when, where, and how. It's very important that I then look at who is the writer writing to. Then I can determine what was said before I can determine what it means to me today. What it meant first, then what it means now. This morning, let's delve deeper into how do I study the characters of the Bible and a word study of the Bible, okay? The first thing that you do is that you then, in studying the scriptures, if you're going to look at a particular character, then ask, who is that person? And where did you come from? And Why are you saying what you're saying? I know you may say, now, that seems like, um, why would I do that? Because I truly cannot understand what is being said until I ask that biblical character, whether it's Nahum, whether it's Elijah, whether it's Elias, whether it's Joshua, whether it's Jesus, whether it's Paul, whether it's Timothy, Ask them questions, just like you're sitting down and talking to somebody. Who are you? And um, where did you come from? Um, You have to ask yourself this, and it's called the etymology. The etymology. The etymology or the study of the beginnings of words or individuals. I have to understand 
the origin or the beginning of that, then I can better grab as to what is being said. The second thing that you need to do when you're studying the word of God, ask the question, why? Why? Why, why is the character saying this? See, we oftentimes run off and just make an assumption that we already know. Ask the character questions. Sit down, and, and then here's the third thing. Look at the character or the word through the lens of the culture of the day that they were in, not the culture that we are in. Always ask yourself, okay, based upon what I am reading, what was your culture during that time? What did that word mean then? Because that word doesn't mean the same thing now. Think about it. Think about it in our own context. Think about it. Now, people talk about the fact that, um, oh, uh, African-Americans, we have one speak when we're with family and so on, and then we have another speak when we're with the majority culture. Why? Because as a minority, we have to work and deal in both worlds. Ask yourself the question of character and the word of God. Why are they, why are they saying this in this way here? And then from the cultural context, then why would you say it this way now? You see, more often than not, we pull things out of context and then we make wrong application. Okay, here's the final thing that I want you to grab from me. And here's your takeaway. Uh, the, the revelation that you're going to get from Scripture, here it is. And I want you to grab this. The answers that you get from the text depends on the questions that you ask. The answers that you get, the revelation that you get from the text is based upon the question that you ask of the text and of the characters. If you don't ask it any questions, you're not going to get revelatory answers. And if you ask questions from a 2022 point of view, you're going to take that word and that character out of context. You're going to have to go and delve down and ask questions then. Here's my final word. If you ask me what something meant in the 60s as opposed to 2022, you're going to get two totally different question answers. Why would you think then that you would go to the scriptures in 2022 and don't ask it questions from 30 AD or 100 BC or 3000 BC. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you. Give peace. I hope this blessed you and I hope it is helping you to study the word of God so that you can live intentionally in 2022 and grow in knowing how to walk out a higher INQ for this year. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. We're going to wrap this up as to how to study the word of God. And we're going to break some things down in terms of the power of the word. Now that you've gotten those basics. God bless you. Share the manna. Don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.